And like I said, often people forget to practice self-care or say if they really all everyone says, don't have time, don't have time. Literally, as adults, we constantly put our needs bottom of the pile. So everyone else comes first, the animals, the children, work, friends. But you need to really make time for yourself because, like I said, you can't pull from an empty cup. You are priority. So um, children learn behaviours by observing others. So if they grow up in an environment where the adult caretaker is practising self-care and self-love, so doing all the things that you you put in on Seidel, um, the child is more likely to grow up with these skills and then take them into adulthood. So making yourself a priority is not selfish. There's something about society that let that tells people if they're doing things for themselves or they're looking after themselves or they're making themselves a priority that they're selfish. It's not true. It's a, that's a myth. Your needs, wants and desires are important too. So if you don't fuel a car engine, it won't work. You're the same. You need to allow yourself to do the things you enjoy too. That way you have something left to give others. Otherwise you run the risk of feeling depleted, frustrated, lacking in energy and motivation and resentful of those around you. You may be suffering from anxiety and or depression yourself. One analogy that I find useful when explaining self-care to clients is to use the oxygen and mask analogy. So when you travel on an aeroplane, if there's an incident of low cabin pressure, the flight attendant will instruct you to pull down your own oxygen mask and put it on yourself before you try and help others fit their mask. Now, the reason for this is if you try and help someone else get their mask on before you put yours on, there's a very strong possibility that you could both pass out from lack of oxygen. If, however, you put your mask on first, then you're more able to focus on helping others around you. So similarly, we all have oxygen masks in our own life. Our oxygen masks are our energy, our time and resources. If we fill our own tank up first, so we feel nice and full, satisfied, happy, our needs, wants and desires have been met, we then have the ability to use our reserves to help other people. If we take ourselves, if we take care of ourselves, sorry, um, by making sure we're doing all the things that we like, such as um, eating well, sleeping well, exercising well, we have more energy. We will have enough energy left over to give to other people enough physical energy, but also enough mental energy. So the things that you all put in on side or before, such as going for a walk, doing puzzles, having a nap, that's all sort of downtime from the chaos of busy life. So if we take care of ourselves by crafting it into our days in such a way that we are not overscheduled, we will have pockets of time available for other people. If we take care to only decide to say yes, this is important, to the things we really want to do and can safely fit into our lives. We are using our resources wisely and we will have enough time to spare for others. And by doing that, you're also setting your own personal boundaries and then children learn from watching yourself do that also. So if you try and take care of others' needs before your own, you may find that you don't have enough in your tank to give others you may deplete your tank by tending to others needs first and then then in the end you're not going to be able to take care of yourself or the other person so self-care is all about taking care of yourself first it doesn't mean that you don't care about others quite the contrary by making the effort to take care of yourself first you are ensuring you are there and able to take care of others and just a, a point to remember, everyone feels low at some point in their lives. And if you're struggling to cope, it may be difficult to see beyond the current situation. But talking about how you're feeling can really help put things in perspective um, and help you feel more positive about your future. 